So hello again, Jeremy here, and I've got a hemp creek panel in front of me today. So I'm going to have a go at cutting it up with a circular saw, a jigsaw, I've got a hammer and chisel, and a couple of different drill bits, and these are uh, hole saws. So I'm going to cut up some sections and see how it reacts. If we look back at the recent history of hempcrete in France, it was designed to patch up holes in some old buildings. So as far as cutting it out and putting it back together again, it's a really versatile product that way as well. So for example, I've heard about uh, someone putting the pipes, plumbing pipes in the wrong spot. And so you're able to come along and just chip out the hempcrete and then patch it over with first of all hempcrete, and then you render, give it a paint and it comes up really nice. A little bit like, let's say, plasterboard. Uh, certainly much easier than something like concrete or many other materials. So, let's get chopping. Mm. All right, so hempcrete can cause a bit of a skin irritation. So, got my, my goggles, face mask, my ear goggles, and the gloves. There's our first little slice of hemp creek. Hello. What is it there? Shh. Right, just one. Yeah. It's called hemp creek. Building material. Sorry, I was just doing a video. So I got a lovely little 100 by 100 section here. I'm just going to cut a sort of like a brick length this way. So I'm going to cut it off at 210 go from there. There's a little hemp creek brick. So that's how light it is. One. Nice and square, square, square. This one's a sample brick for a talk I'm doing at the School of Architecture tomorrow. All right, Let's check out this jigsaw works. Sort of just want to cut off a corner. You know, how long is it? I've only got a shortish blade to get a longer blade for this guy, but let's see how we go. That worked a treat. Look at that. Lovely. Now I'll just finish it off with this guy. Beautiful. Put that little angle. Nice. Alright. Let's get this uh, pole saw working, shall we? So should we put it on a hammer drill? No, I think we'll just go for the normal drill. Let's uh, hole saw, shall we? Mm, takes a nice little chunk out. Lovely. Well, uh, there's a little bit of proof that, you know, we need a slightly bigger bit if we're going to try to cut a, saw, a, a hole in there, eh? Anyway, that's what we're here for, give a bit of testing. But uh, the hole saw worked really well. It's just about, you know, knowing where you're going to do your hole so you don't get that, uh, that break up. Pretty good though overall. Really happy with today's experiments. All right, next.
Yep, the Briar Briar brush works on it. We can sort of use that as a bit of a bit of a rasp, fire. I'm gonna bit of a chisel. There we go. You use any kind of thing to cut it really, couldn't you? Put this file. So you can see how easy it is to work with. So if you're gonna use this as a sort of masonry block work, um, you know, on site, you can really adjust your corners as you need to or whatever you need to do you know you don't have to go and get a brick saw or you know use uh, cutting with water or anything all right i think we still got a test to do don't we let's use this uh old wood uh bit it's just started raining around me which is kind of good it's going to keep the dust down and at the same time i uh i'm under a tree um uh, and uh, I feel like I've only got sort of so much time up my sleeve before it actually starts pelting. Let's uh, give it a go. Yeah, there we go. There's a nice little hole there for it. So I feel like that's a, a really good test of all the different ways we can, you know, work with hempcrete. And so if they were sort of bricks or blocks, and we know we can cut them, adjust them to suit our wall, so we're going around a corner or something. Um, and then you yeah, bind them together with a lime based mortar. Um, so you know you got your, your panels and like a, a brick and then your circular holes. Um, yeah, really easy stuff to work with. I'm super impressed. It's a little bit like a combination of wood and masonry or something. I suppose that makes sense because it's sort of a fibrous woody material with the uh, lime. I guess that'll that'll wrap it up. I've got my two samples for my talk at the School of Architecture tomorrow at the uh, University of Sydney. Um, there we go. Um, as you can see, it's quite light. Um, I'll hand those around, a bit of a show and tell talk. Um, and uh, onwards and upwards for hempcrete, hey? Ciao for now.